Okay, so in this video, we're going to do a couple more examples. You can see we've got our f of g here, which is also f of g of x, which is f of g of x. But this time, f of x is a rational function. We have 2 over x. This is going to introduce just a, a tiny complication in one or two of these. But then I'm also introducing a weird idea here called f of f of x, uh, which can also be f of f of x. And I know that it, this sounds like it shouldn't be possible, but what you can do is you can actually plug a function into itself. And, uh, you know, like here, if it was g of g of x, we would simply put 6 minus 3x inside where the x is, and it would become 6 minus 3 times 6 minus 3x, okay? And so in the place of x, we're simply putting all of 6 minus 3x. And then this is not going to be the same thing as 6 minus 3x because we're going to distribute the negative 3 here and the negative 3 here. So it really is going to become something different, okay? But you can plug a function into itself and it becomes something completely different, okay? And so, um, so let's go ahead and try this f of g of x given that f of x is 2 over x and g of x is 6 minus 3x. Well, we're going to write f of x first, and we're going to put g of x in the place of an x. So f of x is 2 over x, so instead we'll do 2 over g of x. Okay? And in the place of g of x, we will put 6 minus 3x. 6 minus 3x, which now we don't really need the parentheses anymore. It's just 2 over 6 minus 3x, and we're done. Good to go. All right, now let's try g of f of x. This one's a little more complicated. So what we're going to have here is 6 minus 3x, but in, instead of x, we're going to put in f of x, okay? All right, so it's 6 minus 3 times f of x, because we're putting the f of x in place of x, okay? Well, let's take away this f of x, and let's put in what f of x is equal to, which is 2 over x. Now this can be simplified, so we've got the 6 minus, and then 3 times 2. So the way this works is when you multiply something times a number times a fraction or anything that's not a fraction times a fraction, you're always multiplying by the numerator. So it's 3 times 2, and that's 6 over x. Okay. And so now we don't want to leave it like this. We can't leave it like this. We want it to be 1 one fraction, okay? So what we're going to do here is we are going to multiply the 6 by x over x. See, x over x is equal to 1. And if we multiply 1 times 6, it's still equal to 6. But we want to make it look like a fraction. So we multiply by x over x. And this is now going to be minus 6 over x. And so x over x times 6 is going to become 6x. So this is now going to be 6x over x minus 6 over x. Okay. And so now uh, we have a common denominator. And since we have a common denominator, we can combine it into a single fraction with x on the bottom. And we just do 6x minus 6. And so g of f of x is... 6x minus 6 over x. That is our final answer. Okay. All right, so now in order to do the last one here, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of th this one here. And you can rewind it if you want to see it again. Okay. Okay. And so now when we do f of f of x, what we're going to do is we're going to do f of x first, which is 2 over x. But in the place of the x, we're going to put f of x. And so now this is going to be 2 over f of x, and f of x is 2 over x. So we have 2 over 2 over 2 over x. This is called a complex fraction. We don't want to leave it like this. And what I want to show you is that this is the same thing. We're, we're doing division here. 2 divided by 2 over x. So it's 2 divided by 2 over x. Now I want to remind you that 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1. So now we have 2 over 1 divided by 2 over x. So we have a fraction divided by a fraction. Now, I don't know if you remember back in like third or fourth grade when you had a fraction divided by a fraction, 
you could leave the first fraction, we say keep, then the division becomes multiplication, we say change, and then the th other fraction, uh, we do the reciprocal, which we which uh, some people say flip. So it'll, we flip this over so the x is on the top and the 2 is on the bottom. So some people call this keep, change, flip. Okay. So we're going to multiply 2 over 1 times x over 2. So the way you do that is you multiply straight across. 2 times x, that's 2x, over 1 times 2, that's 2. And so f of f of x is 2x over 2, but note 2 divided by 2 cancels, and our final answer is just x. And so f of f of x here is just x, okay? And so these are just a couple more examples of how to do composition functions. Now we're going to do um, examples of composition functions where we put numbers in instead of x.